replication can be simply understood as the duplication or making copies of the data. In this short video, I'll explain how use of proper replication help us design and build high-performing systems. A system's performance is often dependent on its database. If the system's database is not available, then most likely the system itself won't be available. If the database has high latency and low throughput, then the system itself will have high latency and low throughput. So if you want to make high performance systems, we need to ensure the database is high performant. This is where replication come into play. Imagine that you got a system with a single database and for whatever reason, that database goes down. Suddenly, you cannot read or write data from your database. And so effectively, your entire system is down as well. To prevent the entire system going down, you can have a secondary database, a replica of the main database. The idea is you have a duplicate version or replica for your database, a standby for the main database. The main or primary database handles all the reads and writes coming to the database and also updates the replica so that the replica remains same as the main database. Now, when the main database goes down, the replica can take over and become the new main or primary database. And when the original main database comes back up, it gets updated by the replica and eventually becomes the main database again. As you might have guessed, in order for this to work, your replica needs to always be up to date with the database. What it means is whenever someone writes to the main database, that update needs to also happen in the replica in a synchronous way so that the replica can take over the main database without any data inconsistencies. So if there is a write operation on main database, the write operation should also happen in the replica. And if for whatever reason, the write operation fails in the replica, it should not happen in the main database. This means your write operations will now take long time because they need to happen in both the main database and replica. Using replication helps us here with availability of the database and overall system. But we can also use replication to improve our database latency. For example, let's imagine we are designing a system like LinkedIn, where people write posts and others can view their posts on their feed. Now imagine we have got a lot of users in US and in India. In that situation, we might have two databases, one in US and one in India serving Indian users. Since these databases are located in respective regions of the users, they will experience low latency. So now, if I, who is a US user, writes a post on LinkedIn, my post will be written to US database. But since I might also have connections or followers in India, my post needs to be replicated to India database as well, so that my post can be seen by my followers or connections back in India. Now, since we are talking about feed here, we don't necessarily care to have someone's post instantaneously appear on the people feeds. What we can do here is that we can have a US database asynchronously update the Indian database, maybe every minute, every five minutes, or every 10 minutes. So basically when data is written to US database, it does not need to be written to replica. And so our writes will be faster. At a later point of time, in a consistent interval, the Indian and the US database will update each other. By doing this, we have avoided a trip to India when I initially posted my post. So I as US user and my US connections immediately see my post. Then our US database asynchronously updates the Indian database replica. And maybe a minute later, after I posted my post in LinkedIn, my Indian connections or followers eventually see my post. Now, this is not necessarily how LinkedIn is designed, but this is one way we could design and use replication to have better latency of the system, especially in situations where we don't care about asynchronous updates between the main database and replicas. Of course, there are many services for which you cannot afford to wait for asynchronous updates to replica, but for certain use cases like we discussed, it is a viable solution. This is replication for you in a nutshell. Check out my short video on sharding, which is another way to improve database performance. And if you have found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing.